Imagine a set of AirPods that have more in common with an iPod Touch than just basic AirPods. Yes, no iPhone required, being a completely standalone product all in one with everything from the display to the chip built in, streaming Apple Music using Wi-Fi in real time with the ability to download a ton of songs with built-in storage, and you could even listen to podcasts, audiobooks, use maps for navigation, and even watch a movie on the built-in display. Yes, this is the AirPods Go that have leaked all over the internet, and no, I didn't just make all this up, because all those use cases I mentioned were recently officially patented by Apple, showing off a pair of AirPods with a built-in display. Now this right here is obviously a set of fake AirPods from China, but it serves the purpose of giving you a realistic idea of how Apple could easily pull this off and make AirPods go viral again. So in this video, I'm gonna make the case for the AirPods Go and why I think it's by far the best idea that Apple can go with if they want to get literally everyone who owns AirPods to instantly upgrade again. And not only that, but open the AirPods up to a massive untapped new market in the most genius way ever. Now, first of all, I want to start off by discussing the current state of AirPods versus the leaks we have coming out for the upcoming AirPods 4 and the AirPods Pro 3. But first, upgrade your AirPods with these ear hooks from our sponsor, Wicked Cushions, ensuring they never fall out no matter how intense your workout is, coming in 11 color options for any AirPods model ever made, and they have tons of accessories like these unique silicone covers for AirPods Max. So check them out using the link below. Now getting back to the new AirPods leaks, we have leaks stating that Apple's gonna release two sets of new AirPods 4 later this year, with one of them finally supporting noise cancellation, which is quite cool. But here's the problem. There's nothing really exciting about that. We've seen noise canceling for years, and if you want it, you can simply upgrade to the AirPods Pro 2 right now for only $180 on Amazon, which is already an absolutely killer price. So what are the new AirPods 4 gonna change? Nothing. They haven't even came out and they're already boring. And what about the AirPods Pro 3? Well, it sounds like they're just gonna get a bit better in terms of sound quality and noise cancellation. Yay, I guess. Sure, people who have an older set of AirPods will upgrade, or people who lose their set, for example, but most people are already happy with their AirPods in terms of sound quality and features. So how do you get everyone to upgrade again? Well, obviously the AirPods go with something we haven't seen before. A full-fledged mini iPod Touch built into this small package with a display. Now, if you know Apple, you know that they like to tweak the designs of their new products so that it becomes instantly obvious that you have the latest model. Like for example, on iPhones with the big camera bumps and the dynamic island, or them adding the notch to the recent MacBooks, which dramatically changes the look of the display. Now imagine owning a pair of AirPods Pro 2 and seeing someone sit there adjusting the volume or their media controls on the display of the AirPods Go. That right there is how you make everyone want to upgrade their AirPods all at the same time, seeing as these AirPods are no longer just a simple set of Bluetooth earbuds that can easily be cloned by Chinese brands and resold. The AirPods Go will be unclonable due to being a full-fledged all-in-one computer in your pocket running some form of legit iOS packing tons of new features that will basically make for the most desirable upgrade in the history of the AirPods. And speaking of features, what exactly can we expect? Well, before we get into how Apple can tap into an entirely new market and make the AirPods fly off the shelves again, I want to go through Apple's official patent filing to see how Apple imagines this new set of AirPods will work. First of all, we have this main image showing a pair of AirPods with this dotted line area symbolizing a display labeled as 502, and at the bottom of the patent, we can read that 502 is a touch-sensitive display. 
Moving on, this image shows the display turned on, showing different UI elements like a music application with media controls and a little slider. Now this shows a separate device giving commands and status info to the AirPods, but my theory is that Apple can easily make the AirPods a standalone device. And my evidence for that is in this patent image within the same patent filing, showing an AirPods device with everything built in, including a CPU, a wireless interface, haptic feedback, and basically everything you need for a standalone device. Then we can see that this device will support Siri, as well as these images that show Apple actually putting a software-based spinning wheel gesture to adjust volume like what we had with the old iPods. You'll be able to swipe to the right to switch songs or swipe up to favorite a song. These images right here show that it'll support proximity switching from one device to the AirPods with a quick swipe of the display, which is really cool. And then this exciting image showing you stream a movie onto the AirPods display, which sounds a bit funny to do on such a small device, which is why I think Apple wants to make this a standalone device. You can also squeeze the AirPods to switch between modes like spatial audio and even receive messages like you could on the iPod Touch when connected to Wi-Fi. You'll be able to check the weather, listen to the radio, listen to audiobooks, stream audio from AirPlay, and use maps for navigation. So as you can see, Apple didn't just make a quick and easy patent hinting at new AirPods with a display, but they fully decked out this patent with tons of images and use cases that could make for the ultimate standalone device with a full iPod touch and earbuds all built into one. So with that said, let me finish off this video with how Apple could tap into a new market and make these go viral again. Apple made a genius move when they launched the Apple Watch for kids, allowing parents to buy their kids an Apple Watch so they can track them and communicate with them at any time while at the same time letting them use fun apps, navigation, health and heart tracking, and so much more right on their wrist without having to buy their kids a full-on iPhone for an expensive price and a new cellular line to pay for, instead of only having to pay like 10 bucks for a cellular accessory line. Now imagine if Apple did the same thing, but for the AirPods, which are already popular amongst kids and teens. Imagine a kid coming to school with a new set of AirPods Go, complete with earbuds and a display for playing music, messaging, and much more. Just imagine how quickly this would go viral in schools with every single kid asking for a pair of AirPods Go for Christmas. Now, I don't know about you, but I'd feel much more comfortable buying my kid a $300 pair of AirPods with Find My Friend support compared to them buying an iPhone where they have free reign on the internet and having to pay for an expensive plan. So that right there is how Apple could make the AirPods go viral again. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, you can click that circle above to subscribe for more videos like this, and definitely check out one of those two right there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.